Do, 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 do. Hey, hey everyone, I'm Brian Croman and welcome to a Croman Review. Pre-orders. These days, with just about any major gaming release, pre-order incentives are expected and you typically know what to expect. Weapon packs, map packs, level packs... Costume packs! Yes, alternate costumes too. But really, it hasn't been that long since that standard was sort of... informally adopted across the board. Even as recently as, say, early 2009, pre-order bonuses were a lot different than what we're normally used to seeing now. And I'll be using one such example today on a Chroman Review. This is Resident Evil 5! Pre-order bonuses. Resident Evil 5 continued to build upon what was introduced in the previous series installment. More focus on fast-paced action, no zombies, ridiculously overpowered melee attacks. <laughs> but what I'm actually here to talk about are the various collectibles that you could get your hands on if you pre-ordered the game in the months leading up to its release. First up, from GameStop, a 5x7 limited edition laser cell. Featuring our two main protagonists before a fiery blaze and a horde of Magini in the background. And would such a limited edition product by Capcom be complete without a certificate of authenticity? Capcom sure does love their certificates. This document certifies that this laser cell is an authentic first edition, prized for its superior quality. So superior, in fact, that this laser cell's previous owner could not part with it for anything less than one Abraham Lincoln. But seriously, it is a very nice looking piece of gaming art. A little on the small side, but quality is exceptional. Blockbuster as well offered up some Resident Evil art as their pre-order bonus and... Wow. That's... That's bad. I don't even know where to start. Talk about a serious downgrade in quality. I mean, I apologize in advance if you can't tell because of my camera, but damn! A cheap print, plain white background, not even the addition of the villains on the right is enough to make this thing cool. Just look at Sheva. You can see her starting to blur, especially on her left side and her arm. The frame job isn't bad by any means, but the print is so terrible why would you want to frame that? 30,030 copies made. That is 30,030 too many, if you ask me. But perhaps more perplexing is the pre-order bonus that you'd get from Game Crazy. A Resident Evil snow globe featuring both cro... what the hell? God damn it. Fuck! Well, this is what it's supposed to look like. And it's not even really a snow globe. It's more like a... Like a sand globe. I don't get it. Maybe if Resident Evil 5 was being released around Christmas, since, like, that's typically the only time of the year people are kind of into snow globes, but the game was released in March. Friggin' weird. At the very least, you can take some kind of comfort in knowing that you have a chance to own your very own copy of Resident Evil 5. Courtesy of a Chroman Review's December DLC giveaway. That's right, ladies and gents, you can download 
Resident Evil 5, the full game, right onto your Xbox 360 with the following DLC code. W J V V F C P Q C F 2 G 4 M P D Y Y 2 H 7 C W H Z Surprisingly, it is way better than a broken sand globe, but I guess that's what you get for ordering shit over the internet, right? I'm sure we've all been there. So, final verdict? Yeah, it's the GameStop laser cell. Best of the bunch, cream of the crop. I'm Brian Croman for a Croman review, and remember, all month long is the December DLC giveaway. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Brian Croman. Whatever you think will be the best way for you to win some free DLC codes. We'll see you next time.